Welcome back. Let's go play in some of the new features. So I'm going to go to the Home tab and I want to create a new slide. So I'm going to click on the pull down list for new slide. Any of you who are transitioning from Office 2003, you're used to clicking on new slide and having a big task pane open over at the right hand side with about 25 or 30 different layouts that were available. Now we're down to a little over a dozen. But they're much more powerful than they were in 2003, much more flexible. That's how I can get away with fewer layouts. Um, now if I just click the new slide button and I don't click the pull down arrow, it picks a layout for me. In this case, it picks the title over content layout, it's called. And I can tell that if I go up and click on the layout button. Notice the one that's orange is the title and content layout. Now I can always change its mind just by going here to the layout button. And maybe I'm going to click on one that says title only. So now I've got that layout, title only. So let's say that I've got students coming to a class, and in that section of the campus, it's a little bit strange because it's not signed very well as to how to get to Building 24. So I want to draw them a little map, and I want to give them some directions that say, when you come onto the campus, you can turn either direction. So I'm going to type that here. And then I'm going to draw the odd shape that the roads take when you come onto campus. So I'm going to go to the Insert tab. And I'm going to insert a shape. And here's a shape that lets me draw straight lines and curves and several different sort of odd shapes that are not rectangular. I'm going to click on this one. and So I'm going to draw a thing that says, OK, so you start here and you're coming onto the campus. And then it kind of goes this way. And there's this big kind of pentagon shape for the campus. And I'm going to double click down here at the end and it finishes drawing that shape. And then I want to put in some thicker arrows here that say, well, when you come in here, you can turn either left or right, because you've got to get to building 24, which is back here. And I'll insert another shape there for building 24. By the way, once you draw a shape, you get a new ribbon of shape stuff, including other shapes that you can draw. So there is a shape available that has arrows that go multiple directions. So maybe I'm going to say, yeah, I could use this one. And I'm going to draw a little three-headed arrow here, and then I'm going to rotate it around the way that I need. Oh, it's got this straight thing. Um, and in a lot of these shapes, you can grab these yellow diamonds and make adjustments to them. Uh, so there's one yellow diamond, and, and there's another yellow diamond, and here's another yellow diamond. But I don't seem to be able to find the one that's going to let me put a bend in that to make the kind of shape that I need. So this tool just won't do. I'm going to need to invent a three-way arrow, or actually it's going to be a bar coming in and then two arrows branching off of it. 